All right, I'm uh, back again with another unboxing. Uh, I'll be unboxing the LEDs and the controller that I got for uh, the light fixture. Um, all the LEDs came from LED Group by, except for some that came from Rapid LED here. Um, there were some LEDs that were not included in the shipment because they weren't in stock, um, but they still shipped uh, most um, of the LEDs and other components um, we bought. So those will be coming in soon. Uh, there are four LEDs in total, uh, four warm whites, um, Cree warm whites. But uh, I'm going to start with the LED group by box. So this is where most of the components came from for the light fixture. All right. This we just got some paper, more paper, and we have a fan that will be cooling the power source and uh, drivers when we make a project box. And then we have a ton of these, uh, I believe they're 80 degree lenses, and there's uh, a ton of them. There's about 19 of these little baggies. So there's a ton of them in here. I can just make a pile up in front. Uh, we have a um, four pin Molex to three pin for the fans. And then we have a, some adhesive stickers that are also uh, thermal. Um, will help transfer uh, the heat from the LEDs. This is for the fuge light. So instead of using uh, screws, these will just, you just stick them on the back of the LED star and uh, stick it right to the heat sink. And I got two packs of those. And that's it for the lenses. And then we're getting into the LED, actual LEDs. So we have, um, these are, I'm pretty sure you call them cyan or cayenne. That's basically turquoise. I'm just gonna take all the LEDs. I'll go over the what colors I have later, but um, here's all the LEDs. They're a mix of Cree. Um, I'm pretty sure I forgot what the brand they just call it, they just called them exotic on the website. I don't know if they're semi LEDs or what brand of LEDs they are, but the majority of them are Cree. And that looks like it's it for the, I hear some more. And I think that's it for LEDs. And then we have the drivers. Now the drivers are the LDD uh, series by Meanwell. Um, we have a bunch of uh, different ones uh, as far as they come in 1,000 milliamps, 700 milliamps, and 300 milliamps, and 500, I believe. I don't know if we used the 500, but we have um, six channels will be ran at a thousand, so one amp. Um, the rest will be, uh, most of the rest will be run at 700, and then the fuge light will be 500, I believe. And the moon lights will be at 300 milliamps. So, they all come individually bubble wrapped. Here's the 500 LED. That'll be for the fuge light. And the rest should be 700. All right, and then we have our thermal grease. And then two boxes of silicone, um, silicone glue that these are used to attach the lenses to um, the stars, the LED stars, because other glue, uh, like uh, super glue, can actually ruin the LED. We have uh, 
12 volt power supply for uh, all the fans we'll be using. Um, there are four fans in total. There's 120 millimeter, um, the two 90 millimeters for the uh, Maker's LED that came with the Maker's LED heat sink, and then the little guy that came with the fuse light. So um, they'll all be split, but the power will be coming from this uh, power source. And then we have the big bulky stuff. These are the power supplies for the LDD drivers. I believe they're also mean well. I don't know for sure. But actually, they mark them as LED group by, but I bet they get them from mean well. Um, this is a, let's see. This is a 3.7, uh, 3.75 amps that came in this box here. And the other one, this one's a giant. Here's the other box here. And then that's it for the uh, shipping box. But this guy's huge. This guy will be running the majority of the LDD drivers. And that's the size of this guy compared to this one. And this one is, yep, it's over 10 amps. It's 10.4 amps. So um, I had to split them up into two. I thought I could get all the LED drivers on uh, just one of these, but uh, I emailed LED Group by. They said it's smart to uh, make sure you don't, even though I might be dimming them, um, to have plenty enough uh, milliamps, or you could uh, ruin the driver, which this is about. This is like 90 bucks, so I didn't want to do that. So I just went ahead and spent the extra 30 bucks or 20 bucks for the smaller driver to split uh, the power up. But um, that's basically it from the LED group, the LED group by uh, shipment. I'm now going to move on to uh, Rapid LED. So this box is really light, it just has a few LEDs in it. Um, a few uh, colors that LED Group I did not carry. This should just open right up. Alright, so this has a bunch of... Uh, we have a envelope with the order form. And then I'm just going to leave the peanuts in here. Uh, there's some LEDs right there. And then some... Uh, three pin fan splitters I'll be using for the fans. So that's it for the box, that was pretty much it. All right, so I'm not gonna open up the LEDs, but basically we got a, um, let me think. I think the only thing we got from Rapid LED was two amber. Maybe we actually, I think we got some greens too, but I, I will open them up. I know we got amber, which is basically yellow. They call it amber when talking about LEDs. Yep, all right, so we have the two ambers and then the four greens right there. All right, and then the last box I'm gonna open up. First, I'm gonna move everything uh, off to the side here. But this came from uh, Coralux.com. I'll just move it back here. Now this will be the brain of the uh, whole operation of the um, LED system, the light fixture. And I also got some boards that will be housing the, or not housing, but it will make it a lot easier for wiring the LDDs. Alright, and this box is a lot heavier than the Rapid LED one. So, right here we have a, let's see, that might be all the boards. So these are the boards that are going to hold the LEDD drivers, and then here is, I actually have no idea what that is. Or actually this is, that might be the acrylic case, I don't know for sure. But here is 
the controller, and I want to leave that in that bag. Um, I think it's a static resistant bag. Um, but there's a the controller, and then it also comes with the order sheet. So we got the Storm LED controller, the Storm X, the clear case for it, an LDD6 driver board, an LDD4 driver board, um, a header for the controller, and then a jumper cable. And then the controller also comes with the 10 with the power supply, and then these are all the jumper cables. Now I'll be cutting these in half. And those will attach directly to the controller. And then there also should be, all right, there's the knob for the controller. And then there should be a, actually that's probably in here. Yep. Um, the header box is in here that basically just makes it a single connection um, to the LED driver. And then there's just some peanuts. So uh, that's it for the unboxing. Again, we ordered from uh, LED group buy. That's where the bulk of the materials came from. And then a few LEDs from Rapid LED. And then the controller and the LDD boards, which I'll open up now, um, came from CoralLux.net. And uh, the Storm X can control up to 16 channels of LEDs, and we will be using all those channels. Um, if it wasn't, it was if it wasn't for the Storm X, I probably would not be building my own LEDs. I wanted to be able to control them, and so the Storm X helps us out a lot. So this uh, holds, I believe, it should hold four. Yep, this holds four of the LDD drivers. And then this holds the other 12. So, so that's about it for the unboxing. I'll be opening up the uh, LED controller later and uh, see you in the next video.